Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how I create this cosmetic product. We will do the modeling, texturing, lighting setup till we have this render. Okay, let's start it. First, open it to Blender. Press A to select everything, X to delete. Go to the front view, Shift A, Mass, Add Circle, Tap to the edit mode. Press Easy, move your silver up here, just like this. And press Ctrl R to add a new look at. Just click over here, make it six segment, and select these vertices and these vertices. Press G, Z, move it down here like this, and these vertices. Press G, Z, move it up a little bit, and select all these vertices. Press I to insert, insert like this, just a little bit. Press G, Y, move it on the Y axis, like this. And press G, Z, move it down a little bit. Just like this. Select this edge. Press E to extrude, S to scale it. Press F to fill the bottom. Select this edge. Press E to extrude, S to scale it. Press F to fill. And press I to insert. Insert like this. G, Z, move it up a little bit, just like this. And select this edge. And this edge, Control B, bevel it just a little bit like this. Okay, tap to the object mode. Press Shift A, add another circle, change the vertices to 16. Press G Z, move your circle up here. Tap to the edit mode. Press E Z, extrude on the Z axis like this. Press S to scale it, scale it on the X axis. Just like this. Go to the right view. Press Control R, add a new loop cut. Put it over here and control R again. Look that over here. Alt Z to see the extra view. Select all of this edge. Turn on your professional editing. SY, scale it down. Scroll wheel on your mouse to increase the effect. Just like this. And scale it on the Y axis. Just like this. SY, scale it again, just like this. Fill it half with just a little gap over here. And go to the right view. Turn off your personal editing over here. Let's fix this a little bit. Press SY. Like this. Over here, Control B. Just bevel it like this. Yep. Next, press Shift A, Mass. Add a plan. Press RX, 90 degree. Press GZ, move it up here. Tap to edit mode. Alt Z to see the extra right view. Press S to scale it. Z, scale it down on the Z axis only, just like this, press S, X, to scale it on the X axis, just like this. Press Ctrl R, to add a new look at, make it something like 32 vertices. Press Ctrl R again, at the middle, just make it one segment, check everything by pressing A, S, to scale Z. Scale it on the Z axis, just a little bit like this. And select this edge, press Ctrl B, bevel it. Let's make it one segment like this. Press Ctrl I to invert the selected. And press H to hide. Now press A to select everything. Press I twice to insert. It will insert like this. Just like this. And press Alt E, exit face along normal. Exit like this. Press Alt H. Just tap to the object mode. It's GZ. Move it up here. Just a little bit. Okay. And we need a modifier. Mirror modifier. Change the axis to the Z axis. Turn off the X axis. Tap to the edit mode. Press A to select everything. GY. Move it on the Y axis. Just like this. Okay. Go to the front view. I'll see to the X-ray view. Select all of these vertices. Press S, X, scale it on the X axis. Just like this. Tap to the object mode. Just apply this modifier. Tap to edit mode again. We need to fill everything. Press 2 on your keyboard to change it to the H mode. Select this H and this H. Press F to fill. And select this H. Just hold F to fill everything. Just like this. Ctrl R, add a new loop cut over here. 
and at the bottom, look up, select this, okay, tap to the object mode, select this object, tap to the edit mode, go to the right view, select this edge, at the left view, hold shift and alt, click on this edge, so it will select this two edge, just control B, bevel it, and go to the front view, alt Z to see the X right view, press SX, scale it on the X axis, select this, and select this edge up the bottom, as the scale it, scale it inside like this, tap to the object mode, press Ctrl 2 on your keyboard, there is a Bevision modifier, press S, scale it, tap the Z axis, press Shift Z, select this, and over here, scale it on the X axis, select this, right click, shade smooth, and at the bottom over here, Ctrl 2, to add a superficial modifier, right click, shade smooth, we need a bevel modifier, move your bevel up here, just like this, tap to the edit mode, change the angle to the weight, and select this edge, all of this, hold control and click this edge, select all of this edge over here, just like this, press N, increase the main bevel weight by 1, do the same over here, select this edge, and this edge, H and at the bottom main bevel to one control R add a new look cut over here just like this select this H press V to separate them like this and just click over here press L to select everything press P selection tap to the object mode and over here press control R just add a new look cut over here like this at the bottom over here tap to the edit mode select this edge increase the bevel weight by one and this part press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier just like this right click shade smooth let's move to the texturing just go to the shading over here to the front view so over here this new material if you want to have the same color what i use just use this code and for the roughness, I'm only using 0.13. Just name this green. Just make it green over here. And for this one, just make the same color. And over here, we're gonna do the label. Just tap to the edit mode. Select this H. Press U. Mark seams. And this H. U mark seams, select this edge, U mark seams, select this, press A to select everything, press A to select everything, press U, unwrap, just click new material, name this label, and go to the edit, reference, just type here, not wrangle, install this not wrangle add-ons, save your preference, over here, change it to the UV editor. Click here and at your principal BSTF. Press Ctrl T. We need to add a image texture over here. I will show you how I create the image texture. Just go to the Canva. Just create a new design. I'm using this one. Document. Just like this. And you can add a text or change the background color you can also change the color of the text actually you can customize anything you want and it's totally free just like this and you can add a picture Maybe let's add a flower picture. Maybe this one. Just put it over here. Just change the color. Just use the same. something like this after you're done over here 
just click share download and just download it after you download it let's back to our blender project and over here at image texture just select open and find your texture just like this and let me let me expand over here so you can see it pretty well select all this edge press ctrl l press s to scale it just like this you select anything like this press ctrl l on your keyboard press r to rotate it 180 just like this and L again over here, as to scale it, scale it down again, just put it on the, just put it on the green, and this one, L to select everything, G, move it up, scale it, scale it on the X axis, just like this, It looks like it's facing the wrong direction. Just press R twice. Slide it over here. Just like this. Let's see the result. Okay. And add your image node over here. Just general repeat to extend. Just like this. And turn down the roundness like 0.13. Okay. After we're done with the texturing. Let's create some little environment. Let's go to the layout. First, press Shift A. Add an empty line axis over here. S to scale it up. Press A to select everything. Make sure the empty is bright yellow. Press Ctrl P. Keep transform. And just move. And we only need to move the empty. So it will move everything. Expand over here and at the bottom for the shading, change it to the shader editor and at the front view press Shift A at the camera, change your resolution, change the resolution of the camera like 1440 and over here 1920 and at this window get to the camera view, press G Y, move your camera back here. GZ, move it up here. Just like this. Move this on the Y axis like this. Yep. Press T over here. And click over here like this and this one. Let's start to create the environment. Press Shift A. Mesh. This is a UV sphere. Let's scale it. Right click, shade smooth, get to the right view, it's GY, move it back here, add your empty over here, go to the top view, R to rotate it like this, and front view, press R twice, maybe rotate it like this. Press N at the rotation. Maybe just like this at the camera view. Move it way down here. You have to rotate it your camera like this. And for this one, you have to rotate it like this. At the camera that object property. Press the focal in maybe like this. And move your 
move your spear over here. Just make it a little bit closer to the object. Just easy. Just like this. And shift D to duplicate it. Press GZ, move it up. Scale it. And this one, scale it a little bit. Over here, press GY, move it back here. GX. I'm going to reset up the, all of the environment. And you can just follow my setup over here. For this background, it's just a plane. And I'm using Arial Light with 10,000 power. The size of square, the size is 15. This area is for like the background. And I'm using the point light over here, 10,000 also. And I don't know what to call this trim light maybe. I'm using 500 power. For the main light, I'm using 300 power. I need a plane over here. And this plane used for control the shadow at the front. It's also reflect the light. If you move this up on the z-axis, it will reduce the shadow. And if you move it down, it will increase the shadow also. At the object of the property, right visibility. I uncheck this camera so it won't show up at your camera. And for the camera over here, at the data property, I'm using the fill just to add some blue. And the focus object is the body of the product, just like this. And over here, f-stop, I'm using 0.1, just like that. And this one is only spear. The material is, you can follow up my setup. Roundness is zero. Wake is the transmission wake is 0.6. I'm using color ram gradient texture. And at the mapping, it's like five degree. The color over here, it's it just white. bright white and for this one just like a green with this coat this three spear have the same material and over here as you can see this is my setup the metal is like 0.15 and the roundness like 0.23 transmission is one I'm using a magic texture Deep is 1, scale is 5.6, distortion for minus 1.2, color RAM. This is the color what I'm using. And this 3 spear have the same material. As you can see, we have a little bit detail over here, like a bubble thing. And for the material, the roundness is 0 0.03 and one transmission. At the render property, I'm using filmic and very high contrast. Just like that, render it. And that's it. That's how you create this render. Thank you for watching.